Welcome back to Mr. Hansen.net Math Videos. Today's goal is to investigate division and more specifically how to divide fractions. Here we go. Starting with the basics, which I always like, is let's talk about what does division mean in general. Division, meaning to divide, is the sharing or grouping a number into equal parts. Sharing or grouping a number into equal parts. For example, if we have 8 divided by 2, that can also be written as 8 divided by 2, fraction style, 8 on top, 2 on the bottom. In other words, this means how many groups of 2 are contained in 8? How many groups of 2 are contained in 8? So what I've done here is I've uh, drawn out 8 objects, uh, the objects being 8 rectangles, and I'm going to take these 8 objects, 8 being the dividend and divide by groups of two, two being the divisor, and the result we get is the answer called the quotient. The result of a division problem is called a quotient. So here we go. Here are the eight objects, namely squares, and I'm going to group them by twos. So I'm going to circle these two, I'm going to circle the next two, I'm going to circle the next two, and I'm going to circle the next two. So now if we take a look, how many groups of two did I circle? One, two, three, four. And that's precisely the reason why eight divided by two equals four. All right, eight divided by two equals four. We all know that, I know it's kind of basic, but I just wanted to go back to the concept. It's how many usually smaller groups fit into another. Eight divided by two is four. You can see it here very visually, okay? Now, we saw obviously that 8 divided by 2 equals 4. This can also be written as the following. 8 over 1 divided by 2 over 1. Now, how did I do this? Well, I just wanted to express our uh, whole numbers, 8 and 2, as fractions. Anytime you divide or put a whole number over 1, it just means one whole group, or holes. So we have, uh, pardon me for the camera not focusing, we have eight holes divided by two holes. Well, it's the same thing we just did. I can divide straight across. Eight divided by two is four. And on the denominators, one divided by one is one. So now we have four and our pieces are one holes or holes. So four divided by one is still four. Note it's the same thing we just got but now we're using fraction style instead of whole numbers. You can always represent any whole number by putting it over one. All right, hopefully most of us have seen that before. Moving along, I wanna talk a little bit about the relationship between multiplying and dividing. They're opposite processes, and I wanna do um, another little example here. What we just did is we divided eight by two. Dividing by 2 takes half of a number, right? We had 8, we divided by 2, and we were ended up with 4. Dividing by 2 takes half of the number, because you're splitting it effectively into two pieces. Now, if dividing by 2 takes half of a number, so does multiplying by 1 half. If you take half of 8, that leaves you with 4 also. So let's check this out. 8 over 1 times half. 8 times 1 is 8, and on the denominator, 1 times 2 is 2, and every fraction is division, 8 divided by 2 is 4. So notice, above we did 8 divided by 2 is 4, notice that we represented 2 as 2 over 1, and down here we went from division, we switched to multiplication, and instead of Dividing by 2, we started with 8, and we multiplied by 1 half. So basically, the 2 over 1 got flipped to 1 over 2, and we switched from divide to multiply. And we get the same thing. So dividing by 2 is the same as multiplying by 1 half. They have the same uh, end result. Dividing by 2 takes half. Multiplying by half takes half of the 8. Now, what does this have to do with anything? We're going to move on here. 
we're going to talk about this. Dividing fractions. How about half divided by a fourth? What does that mean, half divided by one fourth? Well, this means how many groups of one fourth fit into a half? Okay, how many groups of the one fourth fit into one half? How many fourths fit into one half? Well, let's draw a picture. Let me take the circle here and let me cut it in half. Okay, and let me highlight one half. Okay, I'm going to highlight one half of the whole. Okay, this represents one half. Now I want to figure out how many fourth size pieces fit in there. So I'm going to cut the entire circle into fourths. Okay, now the entire circle is in fourths. One, two, three, four. Now how many fourths are inside this one half pink shaded area? One, two. So to answer the question, how many fourth size pieces fit into a half? One, two. Which is precisely the reason that one half divided by one fourth is two. Okay? The answer is two. This is the picture way. There are two pieces, two fourths, take up the same amount of area they fit into one half. Now, we can also try to do this by dividing straight across. Here's our one half divided by one fourth. One divided by one is one, and two divided by four is one half. Now, that looks like a real screwy fraction because we have one as our numerator and half as our denominator. This actually works, but it looks weird. It looks much better if we use common denominators. So let's try this uh, division problem again using common denominators. We're going to try one half divided by one fourth. Now if we're doing halves and fourths, the common denominator is fourths. So how do you change one fourth I mean, I'm sorry, how do you change one half into something involving fourths? Well, let's think about it. Two times what gives us four? That's a times two, so we do it to the top. One times two is two. One half is the same as two fourths. So now, if we focus on this, two divided by one, two divided by one is two, and four divided by four is one and 2 over 1 is the same as just 2. So there you have it. It's the same answer we got using the picture above. Two pieces, our answer is 2. So you can divide fractions straight across if you use common denominators. Now, we can also do something else called multiplying by the reciprocal. Remember how a moment ago we found out that dividing by 2 is the same as multiplying by half? Well, we can do this with um, fractions as well. One half divided by one fourth is the same as one half times four over one. So check out what happened. Divide became multiply and one fourth got flipped, which the mathematical term is the reciprocal, to four over one. Do you see that? Divide changed to multiply and one over four got flipped to four over one. It's called the reciprocal. Okay, so if we try this out, one half times the reciprocal now, which is four over one. One times four is four, and two times one is two. And four over two, which is a fraction, which is also division, four divided by two is two. So you can kind of see now that uh, any way you slice it, you're gonna get two. So we have three strategies. You can draw a picture, you can use common denominators and divide straight across, or you can multiply by the reciprocal, which is probably the best bet for dividing fractions. Make it a multiplication problem. Change divide to multiply and take, for example, the 1 fourth and flip it to 4 over 1. Then you just multiply straight across. It becomes a multiplication problem. 1 times 4 is 4. 2 times 1 is 2. 4 over 2, or 4 divided by 2, is just 2. I'd like to do another example, but my time limit is running out as YouTube has a cap of 10 minutes. Thank you very much. I hope this review of dividing fractions helped out and works. Thanks a lot, and have a nice day.